The question I have to you is, what are mathematical challenges in experimental investigations of animal behavior? I would say that for the last 15 years, it was a question that I was trying to answer. And obviously, I don't know the real answer. But I think that the one thing that is relevant is uh, I always try to understand what is the uh, macroscopic phenomenon that we want to model mathematically. Right? So I think the best example is, for example, in the, in, in the statistical physics. Right? So I think that the, in the statistical physics, the one thing that's um, uh, it's really great about the statistical physics is that the, we first focus on the um, on the macroscopic phenomenon, and then we we make a model that to try to explain some characteristics about the uh, about the, this macroscopic phenomenon. So, at least for me, that is a, a really nice way to try to understand what's going on. So, the in in my opinion, one and the one challenge in uh, mathematics is actually first to discover what is the macroscopic phenomenon that we want to understand and then make a, um, a simple model that can explain some some characteristics about the macroscopic phenomenon okay so I can give a little bit uh, some more specific examples so one model that I think is really interesting is the easy model it's a really famous uh, model in statistical physics and in reality, it has almost nothing to do <laughs> with the real physical phenomenon. And it's so simple that obviously it's lost almost all the characteristics of the, the, of the real problem. But it's, it still keeps some very simple information that is good enough for us to understand something about the uh, macroscopic phenomenon. In this case, for example, it's about the magnetization and the, about the phase transition, for example. Okay, so I think that the um, one thing that is still lacking in 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 the in the mathematical models for um, uh, to understand the, the animal behavior is exactly this kind of model. So it is a, a simple model that can actually explain us something about the animal behavior, some law about the, uh, the animal behavior, but still in a simple way. So that's I think is the, the biggest challenge. And in my talk, obviously, no, I'm not claiming that I have the model, <laughs> but I will try to show one attempt in this direction. So that's the idea.